Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna introduce you to your new best friend. Are you ready to meet him? His name is Ableton. Yes, Ableton is a drummer's best friend. And we're gonna dive in and I'm gonna talk about Ableton. It's one of the things I get asked about the most as far as how to use it as a tool, um, what it does, how it does it, what you can do with it. So let's take a second and talk about Ableton. Now let me just interject three quick things. Number one, I'm giving away a free 18 inch crash cymbal. The link is in the description below. Two, I'm gonna be talking more in depth about Ableton and answering your questions in my live lesson because it's been such a high demand for Ableton related topics. I'm gonna to cover it in my lesson tomorrow. So click the link right here to sign up for that. Um, you can still sign up, it's 10 bucks, it's an hour long, and I'll be covering a lot more Ableton questions. And third, I've got a merch store. What? Yes, I got a link in the description below for my merch store. We've got hats, we've got phone cases, we've got beanies, we've got shirts, we've got sweaters, we've got hoodies. So check that out, I think, I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, so here we are in Ableton. I've opened up this session, which is Saved by Eddie James. Um, so they won't all look like this, this one's a little chopped up, but it's kind of overwhelming to look at it first but I'm just gonna dive into kind of an overview of how you can use it. So we've got these different tracks, so if I wanna turn something on or off, I can simply click here. So for instance, um, if I have this, if I wanna expand the drums, here we go. Intro, two, three. So let me make sure the, uh, put this all, configure this to send to the master. Okay, here we go. Intro, two, three, four. Okay, so how we would use this in church is I would turn that on, turn the drums off, turn the bass off, turn the piano off, you know, turn guitars off, maybe pull the BGVs down a little bit. So then you have this as like your track. And the click and guide, I would route that to my ears alone. So like one way to do that is over here, I push tab and I go to the other view. Um, so basically uh, master is like, everything is routed to the master audio and then Q is your built-in Ableton click, which I'm not using in this session because it's got its own click track here. So what I would do is I could um, external out both of these and then route these to one. So the default is one is left and two is right. And then everything else is being sent to master. So I would click two and then everything else would be sent to the right side. So now if I run a splitter, an eighth inch splitter, um, which is eighth inch into the laptop and then two quarter inches out, then I've got the left side is click and guide and then the right side is all my tracks. So that would be, um, I would have click on left, everything else on the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back so everything is, um, you can hear everything. The other thing, if you're running like an interface, then your uh, audio outs would turn, like say if you have an interface with eight outs, you know, instead of just um, having one and two, you would have like one through eight, you could select, right, running into your interface. So. Anyways, specifically talking about how we can, this can help drummers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click all of these tracks, or I'm gonna double click a track and that pulls up kind of some more options here. And then I'm going to select all of the tracks and I'm gonna click warp. And what this does is basically it's gonna lock the track onto the session. Um, so that if I make the session slower or faster, it'll warp the track with the tempo of the session. So I've got these different options. Um, now on, I think Ableton intro mode, you don't have all the options of different types of warping. So I'm gonna do complex warp and I'll show you what that sounds like here in a minute. But now what I can do is I can take this 110, let me go ahead and make this. I can take this 110 and I can drag it down to like 90, right? So I'm gonna make that slower and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna solo the drums. So check this out. Right, so it's slower. So I can also, so I can take that down a little further, 80, right? If I wanna really listen. Okay, so let me show you, if I kept this on beats, this is the normal one. See, it just shows, it's just a different way to warp the audio. And same thing if I like, I did beats, and I was listening to the whole thing. Right, so it's all kind of weird. Now if I go to complex,
right? It just it just preserves the audio better in different settings. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, back to back to this. So, say I want to work on this intro. What I would do normally in my case is I'm going to go and I'm going to find where the loop is. Okay. So this up here, this is the loop section. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to expand that. So I'm looking at the whole session now. I'm going to drag this here. Boom, boom. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to set my loop to that and then like one or two measures into the intro. Then I'm going to turn the loop on. So if I click that, now the loop is engaged. So now I've got this, I've got the drum soloed. So watch, or actually I'm going to unsolo the drums. I'm going to leave the click on. I'm going to turn everything else off. Okay. So now I've got one, two, three, four. Oops. Okay, so again, what that is going to do is I can loop that. I didn't even show you how that loops, but right then it's going to automatically go back to the top. So then if I played at full speed, So you can see how that's a super useful practice tool. And again, I could take one part if I'm just trying to pick something out, um, you know, like this part, I could take it all the way down to like 70 and loop like one measure, right? Right, and I've done that before, like that slow, because sometimes you just really gotta pick it out. Right, and this, this has got some really sick parts in it, so, like here. Anyways, so that's just kind of a quick overview so you can see how I would use this, um, you know, on the drums, you can really solo drum stuff out. Super helpful um, when you're trying to do stuff like that. So as you can see, Ableton is super helpful and that's just like a very cursory overview. I mean, there's, there's tons of stuff in Ableton and I'm gonna cover it more in my lesson tomorrow. Um, but Ableton's a super huge tool for drummers. It can literally be your best friend. Um, there's lots there's lots more to it as far as how you can run it live like for instance if you are saying well our church or whatever we don't um, can songs we'll just you know we repeat stuff all the time Ableton will allow you to do that you can repeat the chorus repeat the verse jump to any section in time on time um, so it's absolutely vital if you're trying to run stems live and Ableton is the the goat in that regard so anyways um, yeah make sure you check out those things I've got available it's like it's winding down the lesson you can um, Purchase the lesson to get more info on Ableton. It's live tomorrow at noon. I'm giving away a free symbol. That is, uh, I think the end of that is going to be 11.45 a.m. So it's like during the lesson, I'm going to find out who won. And then third, again, I've got a merch store. So uh, I guess I can talk a little more about this. But, you know, I've always felt kind of like pretentious and like who would want to buy merch from me. But some of you guys have been asking about a lot. So what I did is I did a bunch of merch that's not branded like with my name all over it, like Daniel Bernard. I, I think Daniel Bernard is awesome. This is so cool. But it's just like a drum, like just my drum logo. So I mean, if you know the logo, then cool, you can make, make the connection. But the idea is like, it's more just like a cool, like a shirt that has a, just a, a snare drum on it, right? So if you're a drummer, um, anybody would see it and not be like, oh, Daniel Bernard, unless they know me, but otherwise you'd be like, oh, cool, it's a drum shirt. So I've got like a beanie with just the logo, a hat, hats with just the logo, 
And so that was, that was my thoughts is I'm not gonna do something that's like super branded with DB drums everywhere, but I'm gonna start with um, some stuff that's just like very generic, like snare drums and like more drummer wear versus like Daniel Bernard wear. So anyways, but check that out. Um, again, all the links to everything I'm talking about are in the description below. Um, so man, if you wanna support, um, Again, proceeds from the lesson and proceeds from my merch store also enable me to do more giveaways. So if you want to do more giveaways, um, let's buy stuff and let's support the lesson. I think right now in the lesson we're at like 35 people signed up. So great. My goal was 100 to do another big giveaway next time. So obviously we're not really there yet, but um, if you want to sign up, maybe we can get to 100. Um, and then that way my next giveaway will be even bigger and better. So anyways, thanks for checking this out. I hope to see you tomorrow. We're going to talk more about Ableton, also drum fills. We're going to break down a couple song parts and everything. It's going to be a great time. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.